Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss like how we use a, a fake asynchronous and asynchronous in unit test case. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the uh, like uh, when stable method. So these method like when stable, fake async or sync, these all are used to uh, make unit test case in the asynchronous way. So let's understand what is the difference between done and fake asynchronous and synchronous. So let's see what is the difference between these things. So the Jasmine done function and spy callback, we attach a specific callback to spy so we know when promises are resolved. We add our test code to those callback and then we call the done function in the sense like in, as we have seen in the previous video when all the promises are completed it means when all the like uh, javascript event completed then we write the done function so like basically we have to write lot of code here that works as per our expectation but the writing that code is it's a little difficult and it take time as well so if you want to know more about like how we write as asynchronous testing with the done method you can watch previous video of this tutorial series now if we will use the async keyword so the async keyword basically we use with the when stable function and for this one we don't need to track the promises ourselves but in the case of the done we have to track the pro promises but in the case of async and when stable we no need to track that promises but still we need to lay down our code via callback function which can be hard to read that we will see in a bit but when we use the fake async so basically the combination comes with the fake async we have to use the tick method like for the async and the done we have to use the when stable but for the fake sync we have to use the tick function this is add additionally lets us lay out our async test code as if it is were asynchronous way so let's see how we write those test cases in our like unit test case so now next thing is like the problem with async is that we still have to introduce real waiting in our test and this can make our test very slow fake async comes to reduce and help us to test asynchronous code in a synchronous way so let's understand how it works in that way so this was the example which we have seen in the previous video where we have created this html layout and based on that like we were using the two-way data binding and based on that we were working and like as we have seen in the previous video we we were using the done and we have to use this done using the when stable now instead of this done what if we will use the async so for that one first what we have to do we have to remove it from here and then from here now when we remove done from here then what error we get so it basically give the prefix like a uh, specific has no expectation so now let's get rid of um, this and let's make it with async so for making that one what we have to write we have to make the async method and inside this method we have to write all the code so now let's save these changes so async is basically work with the when stable and only what we have done instead of passing the done from here we are writing this full code inside the async and then we are using the when stable and we can see test case is passing and if we go on the browser we can see here like that prefix is not coming and our test is passing as expected so in this way we use the async keyword in angular unit test case now basically like we have seen it is also take time to read this because like we can see we still we are using the when stable now instead of that what if we use the fake async so for that one let's use fake async here so this is the fake async let's remove this extra keyword and now what we have to do we have to remove these line of code also because fake async work with the tick method so we have to remove this one so i have commented that particular line and here what i have to use i have to use the tick keyword so now let's save it so now in that case also this test case should pass and we should see 
like as expected on the browser so in this way fake async it works so that's the difference between these three like while creating a synchronous testing in angular unit test case if we are using the done then we have to pass the done here and we have to use the vanish table even if we use the async keyword then also we have to use the vanish table keyword but with the fake async we use the tick method and it um, give the result fast so that's the difference between these two and we create the asynchronous testing in this way so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you